Yo, what is going on? Top of the top, everybody, man. Back with another gym video, you know what I'm saying? Chilling in the, in the SI right now. Just got off work, man, and uh, the grind don't stop, man. We go from one grind to another, you know? And at the grind, we are still grinding with the YouTube shit. So, your boy's always doing some shit, man. I'm not working, I'm on my YouTube shit. I'm not on my YouTube shit, I'm on my car photography shit. Not on my car photography shit, I'm on my grind over here at the gym, man. I've been trying to tap into this uh, old frequency I was I was doing a while ago, but now I have this, I have better knowledge, I'm more wiser, more mature, like I think different from the like, last time I tried doing the gym, like I said before. So I feel like this time it's gonna work out even better. But yeah, man, I was on my phone, I was on the phone with my girl on the way here, and she was telling me how like, I never knew this, cause when I do, you like, when it comes down to YouTube, like, I don't really pay attention to the numbers. I just upload and, you know, try and interact with whatever comments and then just worry about the next video. I uploaded it, boom. You know what I mean? On to the next one. And she was telling me how, like, one of my videos has 6.5K views. One of them had, like, four. One of them had, like, a lot of them have, like, over 1.5. And I never knew this. So, like, when I heard this, I was so hyped up. I was so excited, man. It's crazy because, like, 2020... Uh, I started my YouTube grind in June of 2020. I uploaded here and there early in, earlier of 2020. But I never, like, I was just uploading. Didn't know what I wanted to do, you know? I was doing my thing. I've been on the grind for, like, two years now. And, like, yeah, I'm not even at 500 subscribers. Do I feel like I deserve more? Definitely, just because I'm always pumping out content, you know? But it's okay, though, you know? I've just started. So, like, I'm already knowing I'm going to be at the top. You know what I mean? Like... I'm tapped in and like I'm putting in that work everywhere around me just to make everything like align perfect. But I'm so proud of myself, man. It's just it's great to like see those numbers, you know what I mean? I'm proud of myself, man, but right now we have to grind, man. Like a week to the gym. I've been feeling great, man. Like I can feel I'm already getting in shape. Cardio wise, I went to go play soccer with my little cousin and my little brother, and your boy was hanging. Before the gym, I was getting tired. But like I'm saying, bro, like all I need is like a solid month consistency just to like balance myself out and get everything like situated. And after that month, like sky's the limit, you know? But before we go to that workout, let's talk about what we got going on today. So today we got a push day. Um, so that means that my weight on the workouts are gonna go up. We got bench press, three sets of 10. Last week I did 95 pounds. Yeah, 95 pounds, so this week I gotta do 100. Number of shoulder press, last week I did 35. Today I gotta, I mean, last week I did 30, today I gotta 35. You get the gist. So you go up five pounds every single week to test your strength, which is dope, you know? Cause like what I used to do back then, like I wouldn't, I would hear that like, oh, you should write down your workouts and like how many, uh, how, what weight you, you're doing or whatever. But I never did that shit, you know, like, I never, I never, I never wrote it down. So like, that's what I'm trying to say. Like, I'm trying to take a different approach to this whole like finish shit, you know. But it's gonna be a vibe, man. We're gonna try to catch a vibe. Hopefully, it's not too packed in there. I'm gonna try to get as much clips as I can. Like I said, I ain't no fitness guru. I'm not even in shape like that. But I don't give a fuck about none of these motherfuckers in the gym. You know what I'm saying? Y'all can look at me funny with my little camera, but I'm doing my thing. Like a Drewski, I got my supporters. You feel me? I got y'all, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man, shout out to everybody who be supporting your boy, man. Yeah, anyways, uh, I got to clean up my car because I got dressed in my car. So I'm going put everything away, and then I'm going to go in the gym. I want to do some cardio. I don't know if I should do it before or after. Probably before. Probably do a mile. I think I'm going to do a mile on the on the treadmill. But yeah, I'm picking it up later, y'all. I hope y'all, hey, I hope some of y'all uh, start tapping in and start changing your lifestyle, too. Like, like I, I had to tell that to myself. I'm like, yeah, bro, like, you yeah. You gotta, you gotta start tapping into this, your actual working out shit because everything else, I feel like it's already, like my mind has elevated completely from like three or four years ago. Uh, my lifestyle has changed completely. I don't drink alcohol. I don't do fucking drugs. I don't even pop ibuprofen. I shower with a fucking water filter. Everything I try to do is organic from my shampoo to my lotion to everything, bro. Everything from my foods. Like, I'll pay extra money just for it to be organic because health is wealth, man. You can never cheat yourself, man. Invest in yourself. When I say invest in yourself, invest in yourself in every single way. Like, why get that little dollar burger, bro? Just spend 
spend 15 bucks on an actual organic grass-fed burger if you're gonna eat meat you know do the right choices bro like you know what i mean like you know just do your thing bro so right here starting off with a barbell bench press and i'm just using the bar as a warm-up usually it weighs around 45 pounds so i try to do a couple of those reps i don't try to put weight on it because i don't want to burn myself out when i do my working set so i better save all that strength for when it's time because already my body was already warmed up and right here i believe it was a 25 and a 35 so it was 100 pounds yeah i think i was doing 100 pounds yeah it's light but like i said i'm trying to start from the bottom up and really work on that form and get back in the swing of things i don't want to exhaust my body at the beginning of my journey i want to prolong you know what i'm saying um it's like you don't want to go all out before the playoffs at the beginning of the season you know you want to save all the energy for when it matters nah nah but um we do three sets of 15 and uh I try to pretend like there's a pencil between my back and the bench press and I try to make sure that my feet are planted flat because I feel like I have better leverage to push the weight. And um, take your time with that shit, you know. Um, you don't have to go fast and don't half rep your weight. That's why I'm starting off light because I don't want to half ass my workout. There's a lot of people who just be pumping that weight, and sometimes I used to do that, and I never really achieved anything. You know what I mean? Just whatever. I like to put my feet under too, get a little stretch, and get that extra little bent. And um, I always like to start with like my most heaviest compound workout at the beginning, so like the rest of the I don't so I, you know I have all the energy. It's all for the bench press. Back to like over exhausting the muscle. Second workout, dumbbell shoulder press. Uh, I actually had to be doing 35, but since around me there wasn't a 35, I just said fuck it and I'm gonna go for 40. And it felt cool, but I feel like a 35 would've been better. Um, but I used to do more than this. And uh, over time, like, you just gotta be careful you don't fuck your shoulders up, you know what I mean? Make sure you're controlling the weight. That's why I go lighter, you control the weight better. Keep your fat, your feet planted. And then also when you release the dumbbell, make sure you kind of go in that same pattern that your arm folds. That's like, I feel you don't have that much strain on your shoulders when you put them away. Once again, three sets of 15. At this point, I wasn't really doing warm up workouts how I used to. I'm cutting all that shit out and I feel like it's working better. I'm going straight into my workout set. You know what I mean? Fuck it. So if you feel like you're going to quit, Hold them up, hold them down, and just try to control your breath. Bring your heart rate down. That shit works so much wonders in my opinion. When you try to control your breath, like sometimes, you know, your heart rate makes you quit in my opinion. Like some people probably get anxiety and shit, so they quit. I don't know, I'm just saying whatever. <laughs> but yeah, like control your breath. And right here, we got skull crushers. I usually use a zigzaggy one. But again, work with what you got. Don't skip the workout. Make it work. Everything is pretty much 3 or 15. So from now on, 3 or 15. Just make sure you you feel that contraction in your tricep. And I try to keep them closer to me as I can. My elbows not too wide. Kind of like how naturally they were like just lay flat. I feel like that's perfect because I'm not overstraining my tricep, you know. Stretching my tricep plus putting weight on it that doesn't sound that smart. So I just try to do it where like it naturally folds and just go from there. Yeah, but yeah, man, expect a lot of this type of videos coming coming at you. And um, yeah, but another thing I would say, I did do more workouts, but due to me going back inside and being packed, I couldn't really record. So I, w I just recorded most of whatever I could right here, which the thing that I didn't record was probably like uh, chest flies. That's probably about it. But for the most part, my workouts is like four to five different varieties and that's it. But I'm telling you, you be feeling like a motherfucker, man. 
and I downloaded the app. So that app has been helping me out. So shout out to How to Beast with the Beastly app. Fuck it, man. Ten bucks a month. Hey, man. Got to invest in yourself. And right here is just me doing some uh, some little core setups and shit. Not that I'm trying to get a six pack, but I'm just trying to like strengthen my core because your core is like the it's the glue to your whole body. You know what I mean? So you gotta strengthen it so everything else can just find its own balance. And uh, I was just pretty much doing like three to two quit and uh, taking my time and then kind of try to switch it from left to right, this, that, and the other. And uh, yeah. Woo! Forgot to make a closing outro video, man. But um, that was the end of my uh, week two, day one uh, workout. It was a push day. I enjoyed it. I feel great, man. It feels great to be back, you know, tapping into this health shit, you know? But um, stay tuned for more episodes like this. Stay tuned for more car content. I, I'm i looking at some stuff right now that y'all don't even know what's coming to that side, man. I'm just saying, man. Like, uh, stay tuned, man. Stay tuned, stay tuned, stay tuned. Comment, like, subscribe. Let's get this channel to 500 subscribers and we haven't gotten to that. Let's get to that and if we already got to it, Hell yeah, you know what I mean? But, man, uh, you know, keep rocking with your boy and, uh, catching a flight, catching a flight, catching a flight. Every week, new city, touching my hand on H &D. That's your pad, if you didn't know. Pendle seats when I'm flying overseas. Yeah. I see that white girl staring at me. Yeah. Wishing she was sitting next to me. Yeah, I smell good. Why so? Look at my swag, look at my shoes, look at my bag, look at my wrist, look at my neck, look at my teeth, yeah, they glistening, put the gold all around me, yeah, I don't really wanna do the diamonds, no I don't.